Welcome back. I'm so happy to be back. How are you guys doing? My Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. This is just a quick check in for the month of September. We're going to talk about a lot of things. Got a lot of intuitive psychic messages coming through for you for, for you guys already from my angel spirit guides okay and the universe let's just see um what do you need to know what do you need to know right now my dear earth signs how are you Wow, someone is secretly painfully jealous of the thoughts of you being with someone else. Okay, so if you are dealing with a friend, okay, that's kind of got the same interest in your type, that's your message. If you're talking to someone, uh, you could be dealing with someone who's jealous. Um, if you're not in a connection or that doesn't resonate, just be careful of toxic energy quite possibly heading your way. Um, someone new and perfectly fit for you is heading towards you now. Okay, so maybe some of you have moved on and there's someone else. There's some new energy that is brewing and this person is a better fit. So some of you, your exes could be hating. I don't know why exes want to come through lately in my readings. It's, it's just kind of crazy, um, in these collective readings, but let's just see. Um, let's talk about this perfect, this someone new. We're definitely going to see who that is coming up. Stay tuned. Um, let's get one more message. Okay. Um, wow. They, they need you way more than they're letting you know. Someone in your life, and this is written in red, so this is an urgent message for my angels and spirit guides. Okay. Um, yeah, someone really... <sighs> someone's really codependent on you someone may just be in your life for a season and they could feel like it's their time is up or you just need to create some boundaries and kind of create some sort of separation that's what i feel like you're trying to do and someone's kind of making it um difficult for you someone actually is way more interested in you than they're letting on also i'm getting that from this channel message so, wow, you are healing from a covert narcissistic relationship. I'm being guided to tell you that even if you feel like you're over a situation or you're strong, your energies could be feeling quite vulnerable right now. So I feel like this person who's coming in um, is going to be a perfect fit for you. So let's just see who who this person is. Okay, um, and I'm sorry if you had to deal with any narcissistic experiences in your life. I have and it is very painful. So peace and blessings to whoever that resonates with. Let's talk about this new person, this new energy, because I like to manifest positive outcomes for you guys while keeping it real at the same time. Yes, who's this new person for my Taurus Virgo Capricorn? Ooh, okay, could be another Virgo. All right, could be someone that you definitely, they're going to creep up on you. Someone that's going to enter your life when you least expect it. Someone who's definitely, um, if you're spiritual or deep in any kind of way, this is somebody that's going to come through who's going to match your energy. Someone who could be quite philosophical, a night owl, okay? Definitely someone who stands out from the crowd, okay? Um, this could be a creative person. could be someone younger than you. There could be an age gap in this situation. If that's not the case, this is just someone who's different, someone who's younger than you. This could be an on-again, off-again connection, okay, with this Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Let's just see. How's this person feeling about you, okay? And let's also get more of who this person is. Let's get one more for who this person is. Some more clues in the tarot. This person could like music, fashion, have a lot of friends. This person could travel a lot. Um, this person could like to go out, have fun. This person could be kind of peaceful and adventurous at the same time. 
okay um this person could be a leo this person could be a sagittarius um this is someone who is like it almost seems like it's kind it's not that easy to get them to commit but you could feel like or this could be some energy that's coming in this person also could be someone who's ready to settle down okay it just doesn't seem like it but they they are and i'm getting this temperance card as this perfect fit so this is definitely someone that you're gonna have a lot of chemistry with and you might even feel like you have some sort of spiritual connection with this person okay so let's get one more all righty um for some of you this could be a mom all right if you're a femme uh, a masculine watching this or feminine um this is definitely someone who's just gonna come out of the blue they're definitely gonna come after some trial or tribulation or some tough period in your life okay um a period where you, you really had to feel like you were starting all over again this is how you're gonna know this person because they're gonna be so perfect for you this person's definitely gonna hide their worth or hide some sort of skill talent income something like that this is a strategist this person likes to strategize this could be um an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio energy coming through. Um, in case you guys are seeing someone or you have someone on your mind, um, this is the energy that is floating in the ethers for this person at this time. Let's just see what this person wants to say to you right now. If they could say anything... Um, this person, I meant what I said. This person is very honest, forthright, direct, and they usually win in, um, in, in some sort of competitive sport. For some of you, um, this is going to be someone who does not like divorce, does not like to break up. Um, if I follow you, I could lose everything. This person could quite possibly be someone that you went through with some sort of spiritual awakening with or you had some sort of connection with that was forbidden, okay, for some of you. Um, I'm going to leave that one here. Let's see. Uh, I do feel that a lot of you are living in your truth, so if that's not your story, just leave it, okay? Um, this comes out a lot in the readings. I want to start a family with you you are right someone knows that it's time for them to stop doing something so this could also be a mental thing if they follow your religion if they follow your belief system if um and also they want to have another question they want to know if i asked you to stay would you leave that's kind of where i was going but sometimes when i'm channeling these messages and receiving them the information is so fast so definitely go back and rewind part a part of what i was saying where it's like this person's not going to want you to leave okay they're gonna want you to stay stay with them and you are right this person does want to start a family with you so if you're having negative thoughts on the situation just pray and ask your spirit guides ask the god the source within you your angels to lead you in a direction to give you a sign to let you know is this person really worth my time worth my energy because um your intuition is telling you that you are right okay that this person does want to start a family but i do feel some blockages here or some sort of fear that is coming up with this tower so i'm definitely getting a strong vibe that this is something you went through in the past if you're currently going through this if you're currently going through this tower moment just wait and be patient here with this temperance card and allow um the energy to align you with your truth okay so let's see um, on the bottom of the deck, we have my life started when I met you. So I feel like this person really cares about you. And they're going to care about you if this energy hasn't happened for you yet. Um, 
if this has happened for you, this person, they care about you so much. Um, they feel like life without you would be boring. Even though this person, sometimes it feels like they want space or you're not on the same page with them. They feel like their life started when they met you. And I think that's a beautiful feeling to be in, right? They definitely think that you are beautiful. Um, before we get into the advice, let's just get some more, um, feelings, emotions, energy, psychic energy, okay? Thoughts that they have about you and this connection or thoughts that they would in the month of September. You're going to be experiencing this with someone special. Seems like this could lead to something really long term or some sort of reconciliation okay wow this came out in the last reading judgment okay so this person definitely they could be feeling like it is time to take it to the next level or maybe that you know you're you're more special or important to them right i just saw 11 11 so maybe you guys could definitely be going through some sort of spiritual awaken awakening also i feel like this person sees you as their spiritual awakening which is so deep like it really is um so let's just see that's a beautiful thing to meet someone and then have that experience whether it's it was a bad or a good experience it's still we're constantly going through awakenings right um, this person could want to have a child with you. If you already have a child, this person loves your child. Or if you, you have children, this person will love your children. Um, this person has a childlike spirit and you bring that out in them. You make them feel like they can love and trust again. They believe in innocence but when it comes to you. Okay, they also see this connection as kind of like a responsibility that they have to consider um children can also represent long term okay um wow this person definitely is affectionate they're going to be very affectionate they're going to want to just be in your energy be around you hold you hug you kiss you support you um physically this is a physical touch kind of person and this person could really love your skin and the way you the way you smell again here we go with this blind spot this person is going to catch you off guard you are not going to see this kind of rare love that's coming in where you almost feel as though you've seen this person before you know um this person just feels like where did you come from they don't even know where you came from everything about their life changed when they met you um i do feel that this is a good thing you might feel like you have rose colored glasses at first but at the end of the day no you're gonna know that this person is for real and the reason i said that is because at the very beginning we had this hermit card and the hermit really does talk about getting to the truth and to the heart of a situation and even going off you know on your own for a while and being prepared being grown up like having a lot of knowledge experience life experience so i feel like this is beautiful congratulations for whoever um is receiving this message um especially if you are dealing with a scorpio they they like surprises okay that's just one message that wanted to come through let's just see what else are they thinking and feeling okay about this situation i really want to get one card actually from the tarot and see what does this tower have to do when it comes um to their emotions just to just to clarify because i feel like someone's like oh my god so nervous or i was definitely feeling a bit nervous so this can be an unnerving situation just breathe okay remember to focus on your breath what's this tower here for Ooh, okay sometimes this person could be hot and cold okay we got the king of swords sometimes this person can be hot and cold and it's just it's really confusing when you feel this because the uh, they can be so sweet at the same time so it's just like that tower could be also a fear of someone being abandoned okay 
um what is for you it's definitely when i just looked that deck i saw the five the five of pentacles what's for you is for you so i wouldn't worry about it okay let's get some advice from the pocket angels for my dear earth signs to take away anything that they need to know on their path thank you so much i do see some joy and excitement um some really good times with friends coming up for you in the near future okay so let's just get some yeah i'm hearing some celebrations okay maybe it's for virgo happy virgo um virgo season coming up um all you need is you <laughs> Oh my goodness this is definitely for those of you that are serial daters um that have a fear of abandonment it's okay for you to have your guards up and keep your your your, your boundaries solid you you will know if this blind spot is a healthy blind spot if this tower is is a good tower or you know it's a bad tower you're gonna know if this king of swords um gemini aquarius libra energy you're gonna know if this 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 person being cold with you is just that's their personality they're you know they need some space or they really care about you you know this because you do love yourself i'm hearing that you 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 guys do your, love yourselves and your your ancestors and spirit guides and angels are wanting you to know that they are so proud of you for how you have been able to persevere through a lot of trauma heartbreak and pain okay from your past so let's just get one more um inspiration will come soon so if you've been working on any sort of project or you need to do something creative or even something for yourself sometimes it's okay especially if you are in recovery from some sort of um, narcissistic situation like mentioned in the beginning of the reading inspiration will come soon don't let anyone rush you into doing something you'll be in alignment you'll start to see signs and synchronicities when it's time for you to do something this happens to me all the time i can feel it you will feel the inspiration um figure out what you really want before moving forward exactly strategize be strategic be strategic and be deliberate with your creations, okay? Be deliberate about anything that you are creating right now. Get a focus will, visualize, manifest with your words and your chronic thoughts about yourself and others, okay? But most importantly, it's just saying that you got to figure out what you want and, and try not to, to waver in a bottom of the deck. Yeah, stop worrying. Yeah, every little thing's going to be all right. I'm hearing that song, um, Three Little Birds from Bob Marley. So yeah, maybe check out that song, Three Little Birds. Whenever you start to worry or feel concerned or feel doubt, you cannot doubt your manifestation. You cannot doubt your creations, okay? Thanks again for watching Earth Signs towards virgo capricorn i will see you guys soon until next time stay in your body manifest your dreams and see you soon peace and love